engelska eller svenska? Engelska. Yeah. My name is Arlon. I'm a musher, uh, which means I work with dogs 24-7. That's my life. Today we're in Katogoma, Fjällevenpla, and I'm going to introduce you to some of my dogs. So, this is Aron, named after me. <laughs> big, big dog, really good. He's a um, um, lead dog, running a lead. He's three and a half years old. Um, always hungry, like me. From a litter of five puppies. And uh, he's the biggest one. This is his first Fjellleven Polar. But um, he's, um, he's done many tours like this before. He is also a race dog. We, we do long distance racing with our dogs. And <laughs> this boy just uh, participated in Finnmarkslöpe. It's a 1,200 kilometer long race. This is Alaskan Husky. They're, they're all Alaskan Husky and that's why they all look different. You know, it's just a mixed breed, you know, with different, like, uh, all kinds of polar breeds. Uh, some people, they use uh, gun dogs or bird hunting dogs to get the speed up in their team. Uh, so, like, if you look at the Siberian Husky, they all have the same size and shape and all have pointy ears. While the Alaskans, I mean, yeah, you see Pumba, he has flop ears and all on, he has... Yeah, they're in between point and flop. <laughs> the musher life is a uh, fantastic life, you know. It's it's a lifestyle we're living and uh, I mean, of course, it's, it's tough from time to time. Especially when it's below 40. Um, but uh, working with these guys gives so much in return, so it's all worth it. I mean, we spend time with these guys 24-7. Um, 365 days per year so it's it's super nice I mean it's it's just amazing to you know breed the dogs you get these small rats puppies and then a couple of years later you have big boys like this and you work with them train them from birth it's just amazing of course I have some dogs that I have a really special bond to uh, Aron is one of them, but of course I, I need to have a relationship with all my dogs. It's, it's very important, otherwise you can't work with them. You need to trust the dogs and most importantly the dogs need to trust you. Yeah. Back home at the kennel, they, they stay out, you know, like in, in uh, dog yards and we have insulated dog house with fresh straw. Uh, but when we're out on tours like this, we always put jackets on them and we make sure that, you know, they get a lot of food. And uh, of course, we, we do have some dogs with less fur, but we only take the guys, you know, with big fluffy fur so they can cope with the cold. And I mean, <clears throat> this time of the year, it's, it's actually not that cold, you know. Windy and wet, that's, that's tough for them, but the cold, they handle that perfectly. And I mean, they they cope minus 30 without any problem. So as long as they have food and stay dry and away from the wind. So this is Harley. He's also, we were talking about Bond before. This is... Uh, one of the dogs I have the strongest bond with. He's, um, let's see, he's turning seven. And uh, yeah, he's been with me on all races I've done, all expeditions, all Polar, you know, all. all uh, he's been with me 24 <laughs> since day one. And uh, he's also a really, really good lead dog. But today I have him back in the team to rest a little. It can be tough for the lead dogs to run in lead all the time, so it's good to, you know, swap them around. Hey. 
this guy here is Ero. Um, he is the oldest dog in the team. He's nine and super fluffy. Uh, but he thinks it's too warm, so he starts losing all fur. Really, really, really good and experienced dog. He, uh, yeah, this is what he's looking at. Ero. He is obsessed with food. And uh, that's what I want. It, it's perfect. You need it when you're out. In, uh, in temperature, uh, yeah, cold temperatures, and you know, they should eat everything, and he does. <laughs> this big boy here is uh, Fritz. Um, he is just over one year. Ah, it's actually one and a half now. Yeah, Fritz. And he is uh, a son, son to uh, Harley. Um, they, they also have these floppy ears. Uh, he is uh, <laughs> super goofy, uh, super sweet. Uh, he's actually, I mean, he's so young, but still really good, or already really good in lead. Um, I've used him a lot in lead actually the last couple of months and uh, I think he's uh, gonna be a super leader one day. Yeah, that's it.